Oh, spell check, why do you betray me? <laughs> I don't know. It's one of those things, I guess. Have you ever have you ever spelled something so bad that spell check isn't even close and you knew it? That happens to me a lot. Anyway, today I looked up Canon because, you know, I wanted boom Canon, not like click the camera Canon. You know what I mean? And uh, I typed in Canon, and there it is. And then it dawned on me, you know, I use Google more for uh, <laughs> spell check, really, than I use for actually looking things up, which is um, kind of sad. But Google's a really good speller. It can spell anything. I mean, uh anti-disestablishmentarianism that's a huge word there's no way I could ever spell that let's see what Google says anti a n t i probably dis holy cow there it is see it knows it knows what's going on and these are pictures for anti-disestablishmentarianism <laughs> <laughs> that's probably the biggest word in the English language but anyway um, yeah if you're ever wondering about a dictionary um, how to spell something or even what its meaning is you know and you don't really want to read a lot of stuff I just type in a word and uh, I see a hundred million pictures about the word you can kind of figure out what it means so that's interesting let's do another big word um, I don't know I can't even think of anything right now uh, uh, elephant <laughs> well that was random oh look at this look at this the possibilities elephant tattoo man drawing elephant titus steel clip art it's amazing the stuff they come up with. Okay, we don't we don't we don't want to do that. Let's try to spell uh I don't know, what's hard to spell? How about Thursday? No. Um T U R Turquoise. See look it knew. I typed in T U R and it knew how to spell the rest turquoise. See, in a way this is good, but in a way this is bad. Because, see, with Google, knowing what you mean and correcting you, you don't really ever have to learn how to spell. Because it kind of does everything for you. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of a double-edged sword. Yes, you're always going to look good on paper, but in reality, you're kind of a dummy. <laughs> or at least I am. I don't know about you, but that's just kind of a an interesting realization on life so thanks Google for making it easier and making everyone else dumber D U M ooh dumb test well that's interesting am I dumb you know what the way this video is going I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that am I dumb okay start the quiz uh, take this quick intelligence test to figure out how well you compare. Okay, I want to do this. I want to do this. How many different months have exactly 30 days in 2008? Oh, I don't know. I'm going to go with five. Farmer has 17 cows. All but eight die. How many cows does a farmer have left? Well, he had 17. Eight are dead, so he has nine. Which country is largest in terms of land mass? What? Spain, Peru, Italy, Australia. Uh, I'm going to go with Australia. What is approximate average height of a full-grown man in the U.S.? I think, what are we, about 5'9", something like that? In what year did the U.S. declare its independence from Great Britain? Um, 76. 
he finished all the candy blank for one last piece which he gave to me except not a sept but a sept which is worth more uh one pound of dimes or one kilogram of dimes ah oh, crap which is more a pound or a kilogram i think a pound isn't it oh i feel stupid i'm taking a dumb test i'm i'm not feeling good about this <laughs> <laughs> what date does the 4th of July fall on in Russia? Um, the 4th of July? Okay. What hotel chain is Paris Hilton most closely associated with? Gee, I don't know. Could it be the Hilton chain? Who is the current Prime Minister of the United Kingdom? Um, that would be Gordon Brown. Know your allies, folks. What is the square root of 9? Uh, <laughs> I think it's 81, but I don't know. The blank of his injury was to prevent him from playing any further. The effect. Effect. Ah, oh, crap. I don't... <laughs> uh, it was a guess. What time do you have to get up if a drill sergeant tells you to wake up at 0600? Uh, 6 a.m. Which of these cities is a capital of a country with a coastline on the Mediterranean Sea? Ah. Uh, well, we know it's not Tokyo. We know it's not Oslo. Uh, Rome and Venice. Uh, Venice is not the capital of Italy. Rome is, I think. Yeah, okay. Um, which is greater, half of a fourth or a fourth of a half? Are you kidding me? A half of one fourth or a fourth? My brain hurts. I'm going to say they're equal and I'm probably going to get that wrong. Which distance is longer? Uh... Probably a mile. I don't know. Who died first? Julius Caesar, Genghis Khan, Alexander the Great, Marie Antoinette. Oh, goodness. Are you kidding me? Probably Alexander the Great, I guess. How many months are in a decade? Um, man, I, I, I am bombing this. I'm absolutely... This, this is not cool, man. I'm taking the dummy test, and I'm just like, which <laughs> which shape has the most sides? Uh, probably a hexagon. That sounds good. What language is most commonly spoken in Brazil? Oh, that's Portuguese. How many sides does a hexagon have? Uh, eight, maybe? I don't know. Oh, the last one. <sighs> what is a chemical symbol for iron? I don't know. I'm just going to pick something. Approximately how far is it from New York City to London? Uh, I want to say about 3,000 miles. Glasnost was a political party introduced in what country? Oh, that sounds Russian. Uh, which is not a prime number. I don't know. I've never been good with numbers. I'm going to click something and move on with my life. Okay, get results. <laughs> uh, your average number correct, 8 out of 25. Oh. Percentile. Oh. Oh, no. Okay. I am smarter than 6.52% of the population. Are you a genius? Find out. Um, it doesn't look like I did pretty well. Nobody has ever gotten all 20 questions right. No, tell me. 
Uh, I guess this is the results. It just wants me to do another one. Yeah, that's what it is. Some ads and stuff down there. Wow, folks. Just wow. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm ashamed of myself and have a wonderful day.